Good morning. Welcome to this week's video. You are coming with me to the doctors today. So you're just going to spend the morning with me and get ready to go to the doctors. I'm not going to show a lot of what's going to happen in the doctor's office because I just have to be focused on what the doctor is saying. My case is a very sensitive case as well, so I just need to be present when I'm at the doctor. So I just woke up, looked at my phone a bit and have, uh, uh, and I've had my, uh, what is this, my pre-food tablets. So now I'm just going to brush my teeth and then have some breakfast. Pregnancy might be showing me flames right now, but my skin center, my skin, no, it's softer, it's clearer, it's plumpier, like, I'm not complaining. Yes, I do have some discoloration here and there, but like, I know the face, mm -mm the face okay so now i'm going to go downstairs and have some breakfast and i'm also gonna mix a little bit of my uh anti stretch mark concoction that i make at home so yeah let's go It's almost time for me to get ready and leave. I'm done with my breakfast and that's so nice, but I still feel like tea. I need to get ready. I need to get ready. Oh my God, I need to get ready. I need to get ready, but this tea is so good. The mind is a beautiful thing. A few years back, you would never see me enjoying a cup of tea with no sugar. But ever since I've learned that sugar is not that great for me, or ever since I've been told to lay off the sugar, I'm now enjoying my tea with no flavors, nothing, with just water and tea, only just as is. It's crazy. But today I did put a little bit of the grapefruit, but that's no harm because grapefruit is good for you. Good for you. Before I shower, I wanted to show you what I've been using to make sure that my skin 
stays hydrated, moisturized, as well as um, keep the stretch marks at bay, like keep my skin stretch marks. I've been trying really, really, really hard. So one thing I've been doing is make sure that every second day I exfoliate and that every day I moisturize, like twice a day without fail, I make sure that I moisturize and this is what I've been using to moisturize. So I'm gonna tell you the products and then show you how I mix them. Um, a little bit of olive oil. This is four to six spoons of olive oil. The Palmas Stretch Mark Oil. The Bramley Tissue Oil. This is from Pep. The Palma Stretch Mark Cream. You need to get the bigger one because the smaller ones, they just go by so quickly. And then I also got the Softening Butter from Palmas as well. Now this comes in Stretch Mark Butter and Softening Butter. I chose the Softening Butter because this was the only one available. I just found out that they have this in stretch mark butter. So you put your oils in the vein however you want. I like to mix half and half of everything just so I don't run out of containers. So there goes the Palma stretch mark oil. And this smells so good. The pep oil, it smells so good. This is the shea butter one, I'm sure. It smells so good. Now this I found that it lightens me. It lightens my skin. I, I'm not complaining. It, it, it does lighten my skin and yeah. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit because I do sometimes like to put this on its own on days that I feel a little bit on the darker side. And then I'm going to put some cream. You can just open the whole thing if you want. But I'm going to put some booty. This is an exercise for sure. There we go. You can blend this, but I wouldn't advise it because it's going to leave your blender smelling uh, very coconutty. So this is nice and hydrating sun. So you would apply your mixture. Let it sit for a while and then you would follow it up with a little bit of butter I guess sun Ooh. and there it is guess sun leaves your skin so shiny so soft and so moisturized I choose my bow hand of figuring out about that one no sun it doesn't this is the best thing ever and i'm going to continue using this even post pregnancy because it's working that well for me it's working that well for me i love it i have absolutely no complaints so yeah give it a try and let me know okay let me go shower otherwise i'm gonna have to go to the doctor we are going to the doctor today uh, so I just finished taking my shower, putting on a bit of makeup, 
and now I'm doing my hair. I'm going to skip the blow drying process. And it just goes straight for the gel. I'm just gonna go straight to my hair straightener. I can't, I mean, I don't have the arms. <laughs> I actually do, but I don't wanna put my arms to work. The time now. Ah, this guy is almost home then. What happened to the time? Hey, <laughs> Bo. Janina, even the brush him. Do I must put it? Oh my gosh, Matt is gonna be here in thirty minutes. I was supposed to be done by now. You guys, what happened to the time? You are. Uh, I got ready in here. Quite in time. What happened? Hi. Okay. I'm gonna make this so quick. Shame. I am gonna make this so quick. Oof. Beautiful. Move on. Next. Is anyone else still using their straightness from the 1600s? Like me? One thing about me, I'm not one to fix anything that's not broken. So this still works, does the job beautifully. And I'm not gonna change it for anything unless it dies on me. This is how many years. I think it's going close to 10, if not 12 years. Okay. Okay, moving on. Next one. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love bobs, but bobs are also like very flat. So let's revamp this just a tiny bit. First, let's get rid of the parting here. Just run it straight now. Over that. Okay, grab that. Okay, we have to get rid of the parting here. And it's just kind of straight now. Just to make sure maybe everything will blend. I don't know. Just a quick dun dun. Because if my hair is not giving pearl modiadi, I don't want it. I don't want it, Kicho. Keep it. Beautiful, we're getting somewhere. Hi, boo. We in. Hi. This is the one. This is it. This is it. This is it. Such a difference. But you can still see the parting here. So what are we going to do with that, Hebs? Okay, this is it. This looks great. I love it. Ooh, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I am happy. Love it, love it. So this hair was long, ne? but the ends were just terrible, dry, split, and just looking very yellow. And so I went to the salon and I was like, what can you do with this? And they were like, we need to cut it. And I was like, go ahead. And it came out beautiful. Look at this. It is so nice. Wish you can see the rest of the hair. Yeah, it is so nice. Just you get the brown. I wish you can see the rest of the back of the head. But yeah, that's difficult to do. Like everything else in my life. <laughs> okay, what is the time? Let me take a picture. Uh.
I am done. I am on time and I am super proud of myself. The time now is 1.26. So whilst I wait for Mads to get home so we can get going, I am going to fill in this little sheet that I've made for my doctor. You see, every other day I have to let him know what my BP reading was. So instead of me just constantly uh, sending him papers and things like this, I've decided to make this little sheet so every day that I go in for my BP, I'll just record it down. Like the date, the uh, left arm, the right arm, and the beats per minute. So that's what I'm doing for him. I hope this makes life easy for him and that my file is not going to be too chaotic because I don't like a lot of uh, papers. So I'm just going to fill this in for him. He better appreciate this so maybe I can get a discount. I don't know. I don't know. So, yum. Hello. Nice jacket. Um, shit. Love it. Um, okay, so let's check that I have everything. My comb, my wallet, lip gloss, card, phone, and my uh, paper. You're cool.